you all it's me again coming to you this time with uh dyed um coffee filters <laughs> i wanted to say coffee rolls i'm sorry yes i'm hungry <laughs> okay so um are you ready to make the pretty rose that i was just twirling um so let's just begin and again i just wanted to find out if you do not know how to uh dye the um coffee filters just go to our um, Facebook page and I think a, a day ago or a couple days ago um, I made a post um, that will direct you to my blog post where you can find exactly the way I am doing it and it seems like it's working for me um, perfectly fine so just because I do love my uh, flowers um, full it doesn't matter if they open or close I do like them full I like to use um, five um, coffee filters or maybe even six yeah it seems like I'm two yeah I think I'm going to use six but it, it's again uh, this is me you may not like it but it, the one that I was just twirling was just simply made with four but I do like my flowers big so when you actually dye the filters they lose that little um, of the um, you know the wave that they originally have um, but and actually I do not really like this that much so it, it works to our advantage especially in the rows we're going to make so all what I'm doing here is folding all of them in half and again in half until I get to that famous triangle and now I'm just going to simply start very low and cut a little heart out of that um, folded coffee uh, filter <laughs> man I wanted to say again coffee roll <laughs> so when that is done all what you need to do is just simply cut the sides to make sure that each heart are simply separated. We are not going to use the whole um, pieces. We're just going to use, you know, single uh, pieces of um, coffee roll that are shaped into heart. You don't really need to worry if you cut them exactly on the line you folded, but um, it's good to keep at least as much as you can to the, those lines. <coughs> Yeah, it takes a little while to uh, to cut them properly. <clears throat> so what I would like to again um, to use, and I I am so happy I have a lot of petals over here. So now look at me using the scraps out of um, the coffee filters that I just um, cut out to create the heart, and um, I am just going to use the the thicker portion and actually the whole uh, bulk of them and wrap on my cake pop sticks with of course a little bit of a help of the hot glue and just simply roll them and when you roll them try to roll them so um the paper is actually a little bit higher than it stick itself just make sure that that's tight so we are going to actually create now the uh, the center of our rose i hope you do not mind that i am just coming to you almost every day for the last two days with the coffee filter craft but guess what i still did not go to the store so i'm still missing things that i would like to show you and to tell you the truth um just because those colors are so beautiful and i love those roses i mean even in deeper tones and i don't know how you called that kind of roses that they in in poland we call them a tea rose the color i'm i wonder i'm wondering what's the name of um how do you call those Okay, so now what we are going to do here is, as you notice, I would like the center to, again, stick out a little bit. So I am starting with my first heart um, on a much lower um, level, um, just so um, slowly you can build up the volume on the flower. So you do not do it right after as we did in the previous flowers when we were making peonies or hibiscus yesterday. Um, now you're starting really low and then little by little we are going to adjust the, uh, the height of our petals. And I do want to stress it out one more thing that when you are doing it, do not apply the hot glue or any glue you're going to be using to the, um, you know, almost entire uh, petal. Just apply it to literally the bottom of it, maybe a half an inch to an inch, the max. Um, just and then just make sure when you do so 
uh, make sure that the uh, the hot glue is actually attached to um, a stick so the flour doesn't slide out on us because then again as I was warning you yesterday it may be a small disaster to get the uh, um, the flour informed and then as you notice that also I am overlapping those petals like the roses are I'm not trying to align them I'm just simply overlapping them um, randomly so if you are enjoying my project so far and the uh, the new idea of the flower uh, please sprinkle that for me so more um, people can see this oh and I, and as I'm actually talking to you right now I just I started to um, form the flower on the bottom see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure because when you start to add layers of hot glue um, the hot glue is actually not drying as fast as it usually is so once in a while I would say every two three rows make sure that you do squeeze um, that you know where you are hot gluing you know squeeze the, uh, the coffee filters to as you notice when I when I've done that all of a sudden the inside of my rows got tighter see what happened and I am still overlapping um, now in the same places I don't go down anymore with my rows I try to stay now on, in the same place so the rows see what happens is now you need to keep squeezing it now I have it like a little stem on the bottom um, full of um, coffee filters there I really do not want to speed up that video for the simple fact is that it's going to be easier for you to see if you encounter any issues and I know I've encountered them um, in the past too for you to see and look at the the method I'm using all what I'm doing is just simply adding a little bit of the hot glue and placing my heart right in the middle of the um, petals that I um, installed earlier just to make it you know more uniform but it's again no flowers perfect so you know whatever you do it's good so make sure as you are you know laying those um, petals and you know layers of the coffee filters to squeeze here and there um, the bottom of your rose oh and look at me not did not cut it all the way through but that's okay it's very easy fixable and it seems like we do not have many petals left, so I have to start to um, think about forming the bottom of my rows. See, and now I am like literally only gluing the tippy of my, um, the last rows, the tips, the really bottom tips of my uh, um, hearts. So when it, when it happens, they just simply nicely um, when you know when we start to form the rows, they will nicely open up. I really hope that I am not holding you and driving you crazy here, um, taking my sweet time. But um, it's a overall. This rose does not take longer than maybe ten minutes to make um, from the beginning till the end. But I am doing this intentionally, um, slowly, just so you can see every single. Um, step and not to worry if something goes wrong because everything is fixable all what you need to do is just bring the hot glue and problem is fixed that's what it's just so fun to make those um, roses so then when when this is all done um, the final uh, layers and it's again I would say is when you um, you know fold your um, heart onto your rows and layer them try to pay attention how many hearts you have left so you can maneuver them a um, little bit see how wide I am doing it right now just simply right in the middle not even to the sides because later when my last row is finished I am just going to simply very delicately connect um, the last row to keep my um, rows together and I'm going to show you that in a bit I have to tell you, I am so happy that you are sharing a joy of making flowers as much um, with me, as much as I do. Because, I mean, they make me so happy. Yes, I do like the fresh flowers, but you know what? They are not there yet, um, you know, and it's again, if you feel like you are down, hey, get your paper, get your coffee filters, make yourself happy. 
and that that's that's why I like them so now see now they sticking out a little bit so all what I'm doing is just gently not really pushing it gently uh, doing a little um, a little dab of the hot glue just to keep those final petals together so they will not open up even though um, the the real rows you know have them flapping but you know what we're not making a real one we are almost going to make a real one so um, what I like to do now is just simply a twirl um, the ends of my rows to my likings a little bit um, you could actually do it before but they usually when you um, do it before you start to assemble the petals that uh, you know curving and twirling is just simply losing its shape so I love to do it right at the end and to tell you the truth it does stay put almost like the rows we made with um, burlap so now the two roses are done I love it I hope you do too of course I still need to make one more because it's always good to have three but I am going to do that later I'm not going to hold you together I'm just going to simply tie my raffia I'm not gluing it because I I do want to make the leaf um, later too somehow but I will get to this leaves uh, portion maybe in another video or in a blog post that I'm doing but um, it does look pretty I love that tea color rose it's peachy rose I don't know to help me out how to name them so see I'm not going to use the burlap because it's just too rustic even though it does look pretty with the pop of green but uh, here is the final um, pictures they actually much better because I was making those roses this morning so they the colors are a little bit better than they would have been at night uh, I really hope that you do like that project and I inspired you to make your own and I just cannot wait to see your beautiful roses you're going to make and share with me uh, so again thank you so much for watching and uh, if you really like it please sprinkle again I hope I'm not too uh, boring asking you to sprinkle but um, that helps me really a lot and thanks to you my page is growing thanks to your sprinkling you are really the greatest community I could possibly build for myself. Again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you tonight with another video. Bye.